But I just think LeBron's antlers is in platinum and Michael's may be in gold. Why? Because when you think about he had to be compared to Mike. Who did Mike have to be compared to? What's up, world? Welcome back to Charge the Game Podcast. I'll be your host here, Chuck. Can't even get my damn morning going without seeing this type of foolishness come across my damn screen. Uh, but before we get into this video, I want to ask you guys to do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button to the bottom right of your screen. Also hit that notification bell so you guys can continue to get the latest drops when I'm dropping my media sports content. Now, Rich Paul. Rich Paul, man. I kind of like you, Rich Paul. And I know what you're doing. And I understand why you're doing it, right? Now, you see that this guy has made a guest appearance on Gil's Arena, right? Those who don't know what this show is, this is a basketball player named Gilbert Arenas who played, I think he played a, a, a certain stint with MJ, if I'm not mistaken, um, uh, when Michael Jordan was on the Wizards. And obviously this is his podcast. So he has special guest Rich Paul on here, who is killing the game. Rich Paul, Clutch Sports, not going to lie has the NBA and some of the NFL and some of the some of the uh, other sports like baseball they are killing the game not gonna lie to y'all but honestly man I get so tired of hearing this MJ and LeBron James debate um, and what we just have to honestly do is realize that it's gonna always be this way some are gonna say that Michael Jordan is better some are gonna say LeBron is, is some are gonna say that LeBron James is better but I think that overall I think probably 85 to 90 percent of people believe that Michael Jordan is still the greatest basketball player ever. I do as well. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. He made the statement, "Antlers dip." What the hell is it? This man here, this man here, think he in Lord of the Rings or some shit. He up here and talking about antlers dipped in platinum and one dipped in gold. So you saying that Michael Jordan antlers are dipped in gold because? He wasn't compared to anybody like LeBron James is compared to. I want you guys to hear the contradiction in that statement. How can LeBron James be the best if he's compared to the best, right? Michael Jordan was that raw. Michael Jordan was that real. He was that guy. So when he came through and took the league by storm, there was no comparison because there was nothing like him. You had other supreme talent. You had John Stockton. You had... Uh, you know, uh, Magic Johnson, you had Kareem, you had uh, you had a lot of greats, but they wasn't MJ. Just like right now, we have a lot of great NBA players in this league, but they aren't LeBron James. I don't understand this, but this is LeBron James' best friend, right? LeBron James' best friend. Y'all was y'all knew each other when y'all was broke. Y'all didn't have anything. Could you imagine being a uh, Best friends with LeBron James, not knowing that he was going to turn out to be this guy. You knew he was special, but you didn't know he would be the face of the NBA league. You did, You probably didn't know that you would be a multimillionaire, then transform into a billionaire, owning all of these franchises and businesses, let alone look at you, Rich Paul. Did you ever think that you would be dating Adele, who is a global, universal singer, icon, performer? I love Adele, and I'm happy that she with a brother. <laughs> But what Rich Paul is doing is what he's supposed to do. I do want to question this, though. If you did not Le know LeBron James, right? So if MJ wasn't the greatest, you've been knowing LeBron James your whole life, right? Who did LeBron James marry his game after? Who did LeBron James want to be? Who was the ghost he was chasing, right? So you mean to tell me that you, you were biased this whole time? It had to be, at some point, you and LeBron James had to have been young kids wanting to be Michael Jordan. That's just bottom line in a discussion, right? Now, Kobe was compared to Michael Jordan. A lot of people dismiss Kobe, but Kobe is MJ 2.0. Yeah, he was raw. Um, but what I'm trying to get to is Rich Paul is doing what he's supposed to do, man. It's just a guy who's you know, LeBron James' right-hand man. You guys heard how uh, he confronted Stephen A. Smith, right? Y'all heard? I don't know if y'all heard about that, but, you know, supposedly he's, he confronted Stephen A. Smith 
and told Stephen A. Smith it's disrespectful not to have LeBron James as your GOAT or your all-time. See, Rich Paul, you can't be running up on people doing that shit. Because if I was Stephen A. Smith, I would have slapped your ass. You know what I'm saying? I don't give... Let me stop. I don't care what type of security you got, man. Like, don't don't run up on me uh, telling me what I should and shouldn't do or based off my opinion. This is my opinion. You know what I'm saying? And on this same show that Rich Paul is sitting on right now, uh, he, he later on explained that Stephen A. Smith is lying, right? You never know what his ass, though. Stephen A. Smith, old, old green ass, slimy ass dude, uh, backstabbing ass. So who knows, man? He, he probably was lying. But I don't think that Stephen A. Smith was lying about Rich Paul confronting him or coming to him saying that it's disrespectful to have, uh, to not have LeBron James as your favorite. He, he, this is what child bronze sexuals do. You can't force this man on everybody. You can't make everybody want to like this guy and love this guy and have them as their top player. That's just not how it is. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's And that's okay. You know, you, you can't get mad at somebody because they have a public, they are a public figure and they can speak on TV and say how they feel and you don't like it. Man, it's, the, the world isn't tailored around LeBron like it is for you, Rich Paul. Rich Paul, we know that LeBron James is your everything. You know what I'm saying? So you got to ride with him. You got to. He put you in positions that anybody would be grateful for. And I understand why you're doing what you're doing, man. I, I really do. I do think it's crazy that Gilbert Arenas didn't try to refute that, though. You know what I'm saying? These boys be so busy trying to get clicks and clickbait for their shows, they don't really want to, you know, say how they feel. I think that they should have went right back at Rich Paul and told him to give him some more examples. This man come on the show talking about some damn antlers like we in Hogwarts or some shit. What is that? That don't make no sense to me, man. I don't know, man. Like, I feel like when it comes to LeBron James, man, this man could be Jesus Christ to some of y'all people, man, because he can't do nothing wrong. Y'all ain't going to never, ever uh, criticize this man when he wrong. Y'all not going to criticize this man for throwing his teammates under the bus. Y'all, All y'all know is this man is all and be all, right? That's, that, that's, that's not how I feel, okay? I think that LeBron James is a supreme basketball player. I think that he's very gifted. Uh, there are certain questions to him and certain things that I feel like eh, a little iffy, iffy. But when it comes to MJ, oh, off top, man, it's Michael Jordan all day. And like I keep telling y'all, man, I used to be the biggest LeBron James fan. So I don't want y'all to think that I never liked LeBron James. I still love LeBron's game. You know what I'm saying? I like the fact that he's healthy. I like the fact his longevity. But in my opinion, you know, since... Uh, Rich Paul want to give his opinion on antlers and shit. I think that LeBron James uh, just uses physical basketball, you know, which which ain't nothing wrong with, but I just think that he plays a basic style. That's what I'm going to go with. And MJ just had flair. Michael Jordan had flair. Michael Jordan had charisma. He had go-to moves. Uh, LeBron James doesn't have that to me. It's just pretty basic. And you got to think about the rules, man. Like, the rules were so different back in the day. How could you say this, Rich Paul? Like, you talking about who somebody was compared to, but look what Michael Jordan had to do. He wasn't near, nowhere near the size of LeBron James, but had the heart of a giant. This man was taking down giants, dunking on everybody, getting beat up. Uh, the, the bad boys, Detroit Pistons, man. Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Clyde, man, what? What do you mean? Like, the 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 gauntlet that MJ did and had to go through and did that shit three times and then another three times back to back man you can't refute that I'm sorry you can't refute that this man went six and zero oh, and your boy lost six so it's just you can say what you want to say Rich Paul but the rules have changed I do not think that LeBron James would have been this player he is now because it's his league you got these uh, sorry ass sensitive ass want to be cool friendly ass people who scared to guard this man let this man go to the hole and be in awe man mj didn't have that yeah people were in awe but they were still tackling his ass out the air they were still doing all that so it just it just it's just it's very wild to me on how you know people continuously say that lebron james is has it has had it way harder than michael jordan that makes no fucking sense to me at all but you're doing what you're supposed to do, Rich Paul. You're a good old boy, and you know how to behave when your master's not around, and you represent him right. But anyway, 
that's just my take on that, man. I, I really don't have too much more to say about this because this is just going to be one of those debates to each his own. I think that nowadays, you know, uh, like I said, I used to be a very huge LeBron James fan as a kid. But once I started playing sports and I really got into, you know, the game, like on all levels, I started to look at LeBron James very differently. And, and a lot of people watch my videos are thinking that I'm a LeBron James hater. No, I just don't put him on a high pedestal like y'all do. You know what I'm saying? So that's just my take on this, you guys. You guys let me know what y'all think, man. Uh, y'all agree with Rich Paul? Y'all think that, you know, LeBron James is the GOAT over MJ? You guys let me know in the comment section, like always. Like, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let me know how you charge the game. Peace. Yes.